Hey, man, I'm doing all right, buddy. I'm doing all right. Yeah, it was very, uh, it was, I, I was saddened by the news, of course. And, and, you know, a lot of people were speculating, you know, because Stefan had spent quite a bit of time in the hospital, you know, a lot of things that, that was happening to him, the food poisoning. And I don't know if he had staff as well, some MRSA stuff going on. I wasn't hundred percent sure, but that yeah, apparently yeah, I can actually, I can actually clarify that he had a awful staff infection that almost killed him. He lost over 80 pounds in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that uh, the doctor, you know, apparently was alarmed that that was, you know, had had gotten into his blood and then affected, you know, his heart. And, uh, you know, ultimately, that's probably what what uh, took his life. And that's very sad. You know, Kevin Randleman died from from, uh, you know, having complications, I believe that from that horrible MRSA that he had, you know, throughout that that really took a lot of his health away from him. So. Uh, yeah, but Stefan, you know, he was a golden dude, you know, back in the day when I was, I was in the arena when, when he and, and, uh, Forrest Griffin fought, uh, I was there at that event because at the time I was helping a guy named John Hirschfeld, a movie director and writer, write a movie script for the UFC. The UFC was paying John Hirschfeld to write a movie script based on, you know, an athlete rising up, you know, and, and becoming a star and a champion in the UFC. So, um, yeah. I mean, I remember watching that fight and going, holy shit, these two just uh, left it all out there, number one. And all of the work, you know, that we had been doing, the older guys, up until that point, we knew that it was going to take guys like the Fertitas um, to invest money, to blow this thing up, to have the connections, all that sort of stuff. And that reality show, I was working on a reality show at the same time. I had a reality show that I was, uh, actually was stars agreed to buy it the same year. And then th that fell apart, unfortunately, <laughs> but ultimately I knew, I think everybody in the building knew that after that fight, that the sport was now solidified because of those two guys efforts. Um, you know, you could tell that they knew going in that it was like, it was fourth down and 50. And it was a flea flicker and it was all on the line and they were the dude running down to catch that ball and they had to go for it, you know, and just go balls to the wall with each other. And they both did it. And that says a lot about both of their character, you know, realizing, God, this is a pivotal moment in history. Right. And it just says, says a lot, but yeah, throughout the years, just, uh, interacting with, with, uh, you know, Stefan and, uh, we worked at ESPN. We did some episodes at ESPN together as well and spending time, you know, at the restaurants with him with, uh, with uh, you know, some of the other guys, Florian, uh, Brian Stan, some of the folks that, you know, and, uh, you know, just good memories, man. And he was, fuck, he was funny. God, he was a funny dude.